my name is Allison and you may also know me as InspiredJW and for today's video it's going to be a Procreate tutorial on Animation Assist. This one was requested by YouTube user named Kin and yeah let's get started. I'm going to be using my OC Mirvin McGrove as an example and to turn on Animation Assist you can just go up to this wrench up in the corner and turn on Animation Assist and it brings up this bar at the bottom. On this bar, there is four distinct things you can see. This play button, settings, add frame, and the thumbnails for the frames themselves. Play just plays the animation. Settings gives you all the animation settings, starting with loop that plays the animation in loop. Ping pong, which kind of hard to see since it's two frame animation but it plays the animation forward and then plays the animation in reverse and it does that in a loop. And then one shot that just plays the animation in one go and stops. And then below that we see frames per second, onion skin frames and onion skin opacity. Frames per second determines on just how many frames are being played per second. So currently I have three frames are being played per second. So that means this entire animation plays in one second. And then back to settings, then we have onion skin frames. Onion skin is being able to see your either previous or next frame be right below your current frame in a lower opacity and a different color. And then right below that is onion skin opacity. This one just determines on how opaque the actual onion skin is. I kind of prefer mine to be at a lower opacity. So between 30 to 40%. And right below that is our blend primary frame. With it deactivated, the primary frame we are on, which is currently the one we have selected, is just, you know, it's solid, not really opaque, nothing like that. But by turning on, it becomes a little bit transparent. There we go. Yeah, it makes it a little bit less opaque. As for onion skin colors, this just changes the actual colors for the onion skins. And then right next to settings is add frame. And it's fairly easy. It just adds a new frame, which I'm actually going to be putting right in between there. And yeah, using this bar at the bottom, you can easily just change where you want frames to be. No. And along this bar with the thumbnails, it actually has its own options as well. These are known as the frame options. For the frame options, you end up getting three options. Uh, so you've got hold duration, which just means that the frame itself is hold for an additional, you know, for like an additional frame. So it just ends up being showcased animation for a little bit longer. And this one can go as far as 110. And then you also have duplicate that duplicates the frame and delete that deletes the frame. But for the first frame and the last frame, they have an additional option that you can use for them. The first frame, it's known as background, which I'm going to go ahead and turn on. And for foreground, no, <laughs> sorry. And for the last frame, it's called foreground. So if I to just click on the middle frame there, what it's able to do is that even though it's on, even though I am on a new frame, it is not onion skin, you can just still see that frame. It becomes part of the actual animation, part of the actual frame, but you're still able to draw. And what this does is that with the background, you're able to draw directly above it, while for the foreground, you're able to draw, draw directly beneath it. Um, both, of, both the background and foreground is especially helpful um, when you have assets in your animation that may not move but still need to be in the frame at all times. This is this is extremely helpful. And then yeah, that is pretty much like all the options there is for animation assist. Uh, for me personally, I, use, I actually use animation assist for my animatics I used to do on YouTube. Um, when animation assist first came out, I was really, really changed how I just did my animatics. And it also just helped make them a lot more easier to do as well. Because, you know, now instead of having to like group all of my layers together, I can just go through each one fairly quickly. And I was able to use this to just make my animations better, make my animatics better, and it was great. So yeah, that's a tutorial on Animation Assist. And that's also going to be all for me. Uh, if you really like this tutorial, please just let me know in the comments. And if there is a tutorial you want to like learn from as well, it could just be from, from Procreate or just with how I draw in general. 
if you have anything that you would like to learn, just let me know in the comments and I could possibly do a video on it one day. So yeah, that's gonna be all for me. And again, if you have any video requests, whether that's a tutorial, speed paint, or something else entirely, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a like. I would love to see if you guys liked it or not. <laughs> but yeah, again, that's gonna be all for me. And I hope that you guys have an ace amazing day.